A message from the Overwatch team. We built the Overwatch universe around the idea that, in, in, that inclusivity, equity, and hope are the building blocks of a better future. They are central to the game and the Overwatch team. As we continue to discuss how to, be discuss how to best live up to our values and demonstrate our commitment to creating a game world that reflects them, we believe it's necessary to change the name of a hero currently known as McCree to something that better represents what Overwatch stands for. We recognize that any change to such a well-loved and central hero's game fiction will take time to roll out correctly, and we'll uh, share updates uh, as this work progresses. In the near term, we had planned to kick off a narrative arc in September, supported with a news story and game content, in which McCree was a, a close part. Since we want to integrate this change into that story arc, we will be delaying the new arc until later this year and instead launch a new free-for-all map this September. Going forward, in-game characters will no longer be named after real employees. Thank you. That's so smart. Yes. You should have never done that. It was dumb in the beginning. It was stupid. Yeah, it, it was dumb. It, it should, it's stupid, like... It's a stupid decision to solve another stupid decision. His new name is Bill Cosby. No, it's not. Let's look at this and see. Uh, In-game characters will no longer be named after real employees, and we will be more thoughtful and discerning about adding real-world references to in future Overwatch content. Uh, this will help reinforce that we're building a fictional universe that is unmistakably different from the real world and better illustrates that creation of Overwatch is truly a team effort. Work on these updates is still underway, but they are just a part of our ongoing commitment and honest reflection uh, and making whatever changes necessary to build a future worth fighting for. We know that actions speak louder than words, and we hope that show you our commitment to making Overwatch a better experience in-game and continue to make our team uh, the best it can be. Yeah, I hate to say it, but McCree is a word. Um, let's see here. We'll see what some of the comments on this are. Someone explain what happened. Uh, Jesse McCree is a Blizzard dev. A watch team, like the name, decided to use it for the cowboy. The real Jesse McCree was out as a sexual predator, so they're changing his name to not glorify the real guy. Uh, summarize where I'm unfollowing. <laughs> changing McCree's name is not really the problem you should be focused on right now. Holy shit. As far as some women on the dev team has said, they have been treated well uh, well compared to other teams in Blizzard still bare minimum. For anyone who don't know, McCree was named after a Blizzard employee who was confirmed to be a major part of the recent scandal. Um, Yeah, you know what? It does remind me about that. It reminds me of the Twitch changing the Pog champ. Yeah, that's a really good point. It's, it's not really necessary for them to do that because like he was clearly disconnected like, McCree is a very... It, it's a very... Okay, so... Let's compare two different things. Let's look at the Alex Afrasabi uh, references in Warcraft, and let's look at McCree. McCree is an established lore character in Overwatch who has a long history of narrative designs and decisions that were made to personify him into what he is. And you compare that to an NPC named Afrasabi in Stormwind that has a voice line, or not a voice line, but a, you know, voice text, and that's it. There is a huge amount of information about McCree. They don't need to change the guy's name. I don't think this is necessary. I think that in, in my opinion of, uh, uh, of, of what they should do, like if, if I was them, this is what I would have done. I don't know the extent of what the guy did, so I can't really be certain. I would have probably changed the name and not made a statement about it. I think making a statement about it makes it seem weird. Like, yeah, sure, you can change the guy's name. He's an outlaw. He probably is going by a fake name. That's totally fine. You can easily incorporate that into the story. 100% incorporate that into the story. The guy's a fucking outlaw. No shit. However, McRee, yeah. Um, however... This is not a burning thing that needs to be announced to the world. This is the same thing as how they had to make multiple posts about confirming and uh, specifying chromy sexuality. It just seems like, uh, you know, these, these posturing movements to self-aggrandize themselves and talk about how well and, and how... Uh, what's the word for it? Like how, how morally and socially progressive they are. 
You see what I'm kind of saying? When is the Blizzard not self-aggrandized? That's a good point. I mean, they even made a whole, co they have, there's a whole convention for them self-aggrandizing. Good point. Is that, yeah, you change his name, but like making a statement about it is just like kind of weird. They could have worked it in an or, like you said. There's two ways to do so. Uh, it's easy. They can do nothing and feel good about it. Uh, if they didn't, you would uh, make a post. You would make a video about how I didn't say anything. Uh, not really. I mean, like, I think it was obvious that they were probably going to change the guy's name, right? Like, here's here's what I would say. Like, let's say there's like a tier list, right? Tier one is change the name and don't say anything. And I think that's just about as even as don't change the name. Just ignore it. Nobody thinks of this guy whenever they think of McCree. Whenever they think of McCree, they think of McCree. Because he's an actual character in the game that has a story. So nobody's like, oh, wow. This is the name of the Blizzard guy that molested people. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, nobody's doing that. And uh, it's it, like, just let it disconnect itself, right? It just seems like Blizzard is trying to... Uh, I, I don't know what the word is for it. They're trying to, like, maybe look good or something like that. Uh, normally, we're praised whenever devs communicate with their players. Well, yeah, but this isn't communicate. This is not a communication with the player base. This is a communication with the press. This is like, look at us. We're doing this for you. The player base probably doesn't give a shit one way or another. The odds are most of the people that play the game don't even fucking know that McCree was named after a dev to begin with. Let's be honest. They don't give a shit. We have several more high-profile Blizzard Entertainment departures this week with Diablo 4 game director Louis Bariga, uh, Blizzard lead game designer Jesse McCree, and World of Warcraft designer Jonathan, Jonathan LaCraft let go from the company. This news was first broken by Kotaku, who wrote the following. Uh, Diablo 4 game director uh, were let go from Blizzard, two sources from knowledge. Uh, spokesperson for Activision Blizzard uh, confirmed the departures in an email. We can confirm that Louis Bariga, Jesse, uh, McCree, and Jonathan are no longer with the company. Um, that's crazy. Uh, two sources confirmed uh, to Kotaku that Stockton was put on leave last week and appears to remain with the, uh, with the company. Another employee in the photos, Corey Stockton, remains at the company but has been recently put on leave. So what does this mean for Diablo 4? Here's, here's one thing I want to say. That I hope they don't change McCree's name in Overwatch. Like, that, in my opinion, would just be stupid. Like, I, I don't want to see them change McCree's name. Like, it, it's one thing, like, at first... I, like, McCree is, like, an existing character with, like, a narrative around it. Like, the Alex Afrasiabi, like, fucking NPCs have no... Th there's no, like, nuance around them. It's just, like, a character with his name. So, if you do that, I just think that it's weird, and it's like you're trying to, like, hide it, and you're, like, retconning things in order to, like, not look like this is what happened. Uh, it's the same thing as everything else. 100% they name change them. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they're going to name change him or not? Uh, too late. LMAL casters were already using, uh, avoiding saying his name completely. I just think it's, I think it's stupid. Like, that's the kind of stuff where it's like, the guy's name is like, yeah, he was originally named after this guy that was an asshole, and that's not really, uh, what he is. Like, the character is, is now evolved from that. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, that's, that's the way I see it. Yeah, I think it's just like, that's the kind of stuff, it feels like performative. And it's not really, uh, it doesn't really do anybody any favors at all, uh, in my opinion. Uh, who cares? Yeah, I don't think it really matters that much to me. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I, d I don't really care about a whole lot. But regardless, yeah, I did hear about, like, some of the Overwatch casters, like, trying to, like, not say McCree's name. Which is just, like, it's just so, like, trying to not say his name. Like, it sounds like middle school, man. Like, it's like, oh, we can't say his name. Like, what happens? Do you say his name three times and he comes back? Like, what is this fucking Voldemort or Beetlejuice? Like, what is this? Like, stop.